Oh, shark attack, Jack. Jack yeah. Moyer, who's had a spectacular season. Can he get a medal for the home nation today? Australia's last chance this afternoon at gold. And what a season he has had, Claudio. On the 29-inch wheel in tent. Not taking any fancy line there, straight through the middle, but keeping good speed. Now let's see what he does here. Ooh, oh, getting very low there. That costs him some time and some speed. And how much time will it, will it cost him all the way down through these jumps? That's the thing, a mistake on that turn means he won't carry as much speed all the way down that next straight. And he's only 1.25 back then. So he is in touch with that time of Louis Bruni. Interesting race, this one. As the World Championships always are, of course. Seventh overall in the World Cup. This is not looking bad, though. Now, let's see. Next split is coming up very soon. He's got less than 10 seconds to go. Uh, actually, go, it's man. over. Fast into there, sends it big down there, catches a perfect backside. 2.1 back now, so lost the best part of a second between those two splits. He's going to have to get on the gas hard here now. So a very realistic chance to get into the bronze medal spot then. Shark attack, Jack is sprinting towards the line here. Plenty of encouragement from the crowd. Mick Hanna's dream of being world champion has gone for the day. Here comes Jack Moyer. Moyer goes into the bronze. 2.6 back. A great run then for him. And Bruni stays in the winning spot. Four left to go. I told you the times are going to be tighter, and they're only going to get tighter now. Well, yeah, one of the greats is the next man we're going to see. What a world championship this is turning out to be. And seeing him on the main line here through the rocks, just straight down the middle. This is where we see where a second can be won or lost by just being all the way to the left like he is. Yeah. Or oh, we saw McKenna being all the way to the right. So the 29 inch wheel. It's not offering oh, yeah, much of an advantage here, if any. Bruni on 27 and a half in the lead. As is Mick Hanna, Moya. Highest place, big wheel at the moment. He is riding an extremely high handlebar. He's a big fella, though. Huge lad. Bruni, I remember the faces he was pulling here 12 months ago, gurning his way, looking up the mountain. It's not going to be much different. In fact, it's going to be worse. 